Hello and welcome to Matt's Mosh Pit. And tonight I'm going to be checking out Dragons Never Die by Tyre. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me for the, my channel so far. It truly means a lot and I could not do this without you. So folks, the reason I'm kind of laughing here is, you know, sometimes I do these videos in, in kind of batches, um, you know, just because it depends on how the night is going and it's, hey, let's check out some different bands and why not record some. So um, so there are times when I do these, you know, in, in batches. And um, I just did a reaction for a band called Wheel. And now I'm doing a reaction for a band I think is called Tire. <laughs> and so I don't know. It, I don't know if they're related I don't know. It would be kind of funny if they were related, but maybe there's another band called Engine or Car coming out. But um, no, actually, it just it just seemed to be weird that the order of this whole thing happened. So um, I don't know if they're connected in any sort of way. I don't think so. But um, I think, it, and I do believe, I, I believe it's Tire and not Tear. Maybe it's Tear then it wouldn't be funny if it was tear. And then I just watched a wheel video, but, um, either way, I think it's tire. And so, um, I don't know anything about them. The idea of dragons never die. I'm going to assume it's some form of power metal or folk metal or something along those lines. And I've, I, I love that stuff. So I'm not going to lie, I kind of get excited for it. So the idea of dragons, you know, all of that good stuff, it just sort of works for me. So um, I've never heard Tire before on this, uh, definitely in my life. So they're new to, the, new to me, new to this channel. So hopefully they're good. This album, I think they have a new album out because I think this song actually just dropped. And I think they're, I don't know when the album comes out, but anyway... We're going to check it out together, folks. It's Dragons Never Die by Tire or Tear, but I think it's Tire. It's interesting. It sounds like they want to go into that realm of like folk metal and or 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 power metal, but they don't dress like, you know, like the Vikings and all that kind of stuff. That's interesting. And I did see a dragon in the background, which is kind of kind of cool. But yeah, I was kind of expecting like battle axes and the whole garb, but it looks like they're dressed like normal dudes, which yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, 
There you have it. That was actually kind of short. I kind of expected it to be a little long. I'm not going to lie. This is nothing what I expected in a weird sort of way. And it, it's good. And I, 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 Not that I expected it to be bad. Scratch that part. It's actually, it was good music and I really enjoyed it. What kept throwing me off, though, is it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I relate to these guys because, and, and keep in mind, this is the first time I'm ever seeing them, so I don't, I could be completely wrong, but it seems like I, they're like the me of these like kind of like folk metal, power metal bands where, I, you know what, I shouldn't even say the me, because like, I think if I had a power metal band or a folk metal band, whatever this kind of falls into, I feel like I probably would want to get all dressed up and do the whole, like the Viking everything and the, the full chain mail. You know, you guys, I've said this on the channel, like I want a horn to drink out of, I want chain mail, all that. So I would totally participate, but these guys are like the dudes who they like, they want to play the music and they want to like, they want to sound good. They want to do all of that, but they don't really, they're, they're like one foot in one foot out. Cause they're like, maybe we're going to leave the door open. So we don't have to wear Like they don't wear the garb. They just wear like normal, like rock band stuff, which nothing wrong with that, but I can't help but think, are they fully committed or not? And so maybe it's just this video, maybe, you know, maybe in other videos, they wear the full like Viking garb and stuff like that. Or maybe they don't. But it's like, I always wonder, are they leaving the door open for them to do other stuff that's not related to like, you know, Viking medieval type of stuff? So I don't know. I need to hear more. I guess I, I did enjoy them and it was fun. Like, I like that style of music. I'm just so used to basically the whole outfits and stuff. And so, um, yeah. That's my that's my thoughts. I liked them though, and I they have a good sound. So I I need to hear more. So folks, let me know your thoughts on it. If you're gonna do this kind of music, should you be dressed up? Like, do you have to wear the? Should you wear the garb? Like, isn't it part of the gig? Or would like how would you approach it? I guess like if you're in a band like this, would you buck the system and wear regular clothes, or would you go full on into the garb? I'm going to go full on in. I think that's what I would do. It would probably be more uncomfortable, especially if you're doing like a festival show and it's all hot, you know, maybe it's better to be able to wear normal clothes, but I don't know. I feel like I'm good for the full garb. So um, anyway, let me know your thoughts, folks. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you um, haven't already, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. I know there's people out there that like I see the charts and it shows that there's a lot of people watching, but not as many people who have actually hit the subscribe button, which it's weird. It's free. And if you keep coming back to this channel, why wouldn't you just hit the subscribe button? And for those of you who have subscribed, share, share these videos, get your friends to subscribe. It's fun. It means a lot to me. So anyway, but more importantly, what means more to me is the comments. I love the comments because we get to have dialogue back and forth. And I pretty much answer every comment that comes my way. So it's it's just a great, great thing for me to be able to talk to you guys and vice versa. So please, please, please leave comments. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.